Let's just jump right into the warm up. All right. All right, so we're going total body core focus hip today. So definitely want to make sure that the whole body is warmed up. We do a little bit of cardio, and most of what we do when we sort of slow it down is going to be core focused. But that said, it's definitely not just abs. We're going to throw in squats and lunges, the whole nine yards, just to make sure we're getting some stability work in there as well, and just hitting the whole body. So stay light in the toes, heels up off the floor for these last few seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Right into those high kicks. We'll just do a quick little warm up here so we're not wasting any time. And then we'll dive straight into the workout. All right, so definitely paying attention to anything that feels sore or achy from yesterday's workout. Just paying a little extra and do lecture love there if you need it. And keep in mind, tomorrow we're doing mobility, so definitely a good time to get a good amount of work in today and know that we stretch it out tomorrow. Let's go one more each side. And then right into those knees to chest. So right knee in. Open as wide as you can here and drop switching sides. So you start to work a little bit of balance. But mostly what we're looking to do is sort of stretch that glute, open the hip flexor, and just get that lower body really ready to go and feeling pretty mobile through a huge range of motion. Last one each side. Open and drop. All the way to the chest. Open and drop. Shake it out. Nice wide stance. Arms up and out to the side and just gentle pulls here to start with. And then as you start to feel those muscles sort of loosen up a bit, you're going to pull a little bit deeper into that stretch. And if it's comfortable, the hand that you're leaving behind, you're going to sort of rotate to the palm faces behind you, and then all the way up to the ceiling, straighten it out through the center and repeat on the other side. Just starting to get a little bit of mobility into that shoulder shift. Try to keep the shoulders and hips facing forward. Awesome. All the way through. Let's go one more each side. You should start to feel a little bit of heat in the shoulders and biceps from the small amount of work. And then right up to the center. Dive right into those toe touches. So right hand to the left toe. And same idea. You want to start off slow and gradually draw the chest down closer and closer to the leg. Pushing your butt back out behind you so that you get that full on stretch in the hamstrings. Good time to start sort of taking in those deep breaths, drawing oxygen into the system, spreading to the muscles. Let's go one more each side, down to that toe, sink into that stretch, all the way up to the top, square those hips off, last reach, and then one more time, right back up to the top, go ahead and shake the legs out, big arm circles forward. Just once again to sort of loosen up the shoulders and start to feel those back muscles. So that's what the big scoop does. You start to feel those muscles under the shoulder blades. One more. Go ahead and reverse direction. Three. Two. One. And just a quick shake out. So definitely going to want a mat. Um, and one set of weights is just fine for this. Um, on the moderate side, or water bottles, you know, whatever works. So, all right, well, here's how we're going to run through this. This is hip and core focus workout. So we are going to have a long piece of the hip part. So 
So getting the heart rate up there, going hard, trying to sort of get the breathing rate up. And then without pausing, we're going to go into two sets of sort of low and controlled strength training core focus. Okay. So I'll walk us through it as that comes. But we're going to go through two minutes of work before we get a little break. Okay. And so that will be one circuit. We'll repeat and then we'll get a nice break before we move on to the next one. Okay. So to start with, we're going to want both weights in hand. We're going to do squat thrusters. So basically just waking up the whole upper body. So you're going to start with those weights on the shoulders. This is going to be a deep squat. And then as you come up, popping those weights right up towards the ceiling. Okay. All right. Let's get this going. 10 seconds. Throw the where she's off there. All right. Here we go. Dumbbells up. Those heels are planted on the ground, toes down. Here we go, deep down into that squat. All the way up and push those dumbbells right up to the ceiling. Down into the squat and then a powerful push right up to the ceiling. You do want to lock the arms out so they're nice and straight up by the ears. Keep the back really nice and straight as well. She's very busy. All right, deep down, up through the heels and pop. Nice. What I want you to focus on here too is keeping that lower back really nice and straight. So as you push the weight up above your head, it's easy to sort of let that arch come in and you'll sort of feel the rib cage pop out. What I want you to do to fix that is sort of tuck the tailbone and draw the abs in towards the spine. All the way through. Squat deep, push. 10 seconds to go. Yeah. Here we go, five. Four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. And we're just going right into a straight arm plank hold. So this is a quicker round here. Just 30 seconds. Straight arm, nice straight back. And holding strong. All right, so like I said, cardio, hit and core today. So that is where we draw our focus in. Get ready to go down to the forearms in three, two, and one. Down, down to the forearms, and hold. If you're ready, I want you to alternate toe taps to the side. One, two, one, two. Keep that butt nice and low. We'll get a quick breath, and we're back up on our feet for another round of squat thrusters. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Quick break here. Just enough time to sort of take a deep breath and get back up onto the feet for another round of squat thrusters. We want the heart rate up. We want the muscles pumping here. Heels down, weights up. Here we go. Nice deep into that squat and push right up through the ceiling. Yep. Excellent. And right up through the ceiling. Exactly. So you're nice and controlled on the way down. And then a nice powerful push up through the top. So let that push help the weight push up towards the ceiling. It's one fluid motion. Back is straight. Core is strong. Definitely going to start to feel that whole body workout here. And that's the goal. This first circuit is just waking everything up. Making sure we're ready to go. Push it up. We've got 15 seconds here. When the buzzer goes off, we're back down on the mat for those straight arm planks. It's like I'll be sharing mine with the puppy. Four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. And right into that straight arm plank here. So heart rate should be up a little bit here. You can kind of feel it pumping in your chest as you try to slow things down and hold steady. Thick, nice straight lines down the spine and across the shoulders. Ten seconds to go, and they're dropping into that forearm plank with alternating toe taps. Four, three, two, and one. Go down and down. Settle into that forearm plank and then toe tap. One. And two, just up to the side of the mat, keeping the butt nice and low. Hold steady. We get a break after this. 15 seconds to go. Take it 
take a deep breath. Finish it up. We're at five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Go ahead and crisscross those arms. Keep the body moving in between sets here. Circuit one is done. Woo! Definitely grab some water. Each of these steps is going to really, really involve the whole body. So that's the goal here, right? Those cool body cardio sets get the heart pumping, get the respiratory rate going. That's the goal. And then we'll slow things down with cork. All right. So, same style for this next circuit. We're going to start with a little bit of cardio. We're going to do dumbbell ear swing. So this is very similar to a goblet swing, but you have two dumbbells in here. And all you're going to do is as you push the hips back, the dumbbells go back right up to shoulder height. So it's just a hinge back with the hips, squeeze the glutes, and bring it forward. Keep the arms nice and straight. Exactly. So it's just like that kettlebell swing, okay? So that's exercise one. From there, we're going to go into lunge with press, and then we're going to be down on the mat for another bit, a little bit of core, okay? So, two dumbbells in hand. Take a deep breath in. Shake everything out. We've got 10 seconds before we launch into our first round of cardio for this circuit number two. Nice straight arms. Keep that back really nice and straight. Shoulders down and back. Here we go. Yep, exactly. So again, it's just like that kettlebell swing. You want to keep the back straight. Push the butt back behind you. The arms are really sort of all about momentum. So that's why you want to keep them nice and straight. Straight, so they're swinging as you move your body. You should start to feel the hamstrings and glutes. And what I want you to focus on as well is keeping that core really nice and tight. So that it's supporting the movement, supporting the swing as the dumbbells come up towards shoulder height. Yes, nice. Keep it going. Remember, we want to be getting that little bit of a cardio kick here. Ten seconds to go. When this timer goes off, those dumbbells go up to your shoulders right where they were for those thrusters. Three, two, and one. Dumbbells up. Nice big lunge. We're going to go down into the lunge and up. Just a split stand squat here. Remember which leg is in front. Next circuit through is when you'll switch that up. Two. One. All right, dumbbells down onto the mat for commando. So back in that high plank position. And all you're going to do is you're going to draw that right knee to the right elbow, outside of the body, and then left. Take it really nice and slow. I'm not worried about how many reps you get in. You're holding that form the whole time. Four, three, two, and one. Walk the toes forward, shake it out. We have 10 seconds and right back into those skier swings. It's really no time at all for a break. Dumbbells in hand, three, Two nice straight back arms straight down at the sides. Here we go. Yeah, nice straight back. Shoulders stay back in your back pockets. You're really going to start to feel your glutes and hamstrings in this one. Make sure you're trying to match your breathing pattern to the movement. As the dumbbells swing up, you're taking a deep breath in. As the dumbbells swing down, release the air from the torso. Here we go. Come on. Stay strong, powerful swings here. It's about momentum, but it's about strength, too. you got to keep everything nice and tight. 15 seconds to go. And then that opposite leg comes forward and split stance lunge. Take it all the way through the timer. Five, four, three. Two, and one. Dumbbells up to the shoulders. Nice wide stance. Lunge. 
Slow everything down. Your heart rate should still be pumping. Breathing hard, but slowing everything down into these lunges. Ten seconds, and we're going to drop to the mat for another round of commandos. Five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. High plank is right into those commandos whenever you're ready for them. Keeping the butt nice and low. Hold strong. Pushing that body a little bit more. This is a beast of a workout. We're under 10 seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Go ahead and sit it back. Relax the body. That circuit two in the box. Nicely done. Shaking everything out. How are we feeling? <laughs> this is 100% total body. And that's part of the hit aspect of it. We want to hit total body so we're getting all those muscle groups in, up in the metabolic burn, up in the muscle building. We're exactly where we want to be. So, moving in to circuit three. We're actually going to calm the long interval down and do a series of sort of combo, a four exercise combo for that one, okay? And then we will move in to squat pops for cardio and then inchworms to push up, okay? So, exercise one that we're going to be spending the most time in. Two dumbbells in hand. You're going to go deadlift, row, stand up nice and tall, curl, to press, okay? And I'll walk us through that one with each rep. From there, when that timer goes off, when we put the dumbbells to the side, our first 30 second interval, we're doing touchdown squat pops, okay? So that's where we're gonna get the cardio in. And then after that, that rapid fire transition, we're gonna inch one out and do push ups, okay? So it's rapid fire, this is sort of midway through the circuit. Again, look at the hit total body, okay? So, throughout the weight, We've got 10 seconds here. We're going to start in with that deadlift, okay? So palms facing your thighs, shoulders down and back, nice straight back. Here we go. Hinge back at the hips so your torso hit parallel to the ground. Row, so drag the elbows up towards the ceiling. Straighten those arms. Squeeze the glutes to stand up tall. Curl. And press. Exactly. And then repeat. So we're right back into that deadlift. Row. Squeeze the glutes nice and tall. Curl. And press. And then bring it right back in. Let's see if we can get two more full rounds of that deadlift. Row. Stand up nice and tall. We're going curl. To press. Last full round. Here we go. Deadlift in. Row. Squeeze the glutes to stand up nice and tall. Curl. Press. Bring it in. And weights to the side. Let's get ready for touchdown squat pops. Touchdown. In. All right. So we're pushing the pace on this one a little bit. We only have 30 seconds to really get the heart rate up. Try not to step on any puppies on the way through. It's going to be just fine. All right, keep it going. We've got 10 seconds here, and then we're at the top of the mat. I want you to inform it out, and we're doing push-ups to the timer. Three, two, and one. Top of the mat. Inform it out, and push-ups, either from your toes or from your knees, whichever you are most comfortable with in terms of form and strength. Keep that core engaged. All the way through it. Ten seconds to go. Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Walk it forward. Shake it out and grab those dumbbells. We've got one more round for us. We're hitting every muscle group pretty obviously with this one. Three. Two. Deep breath. 
Here we go, deadlift. Nice straight back. Drive those elbows back through the row. Stand up nice and tall. Curl, press, and bring it in. Yeah, here we go, deadlift down. Row. Squeeze the glutes, draw the hips forward. Curl, and press. We're ahead of where we were last time, let's keep it going. Deadlift. Row. Squeeze the glutes, hips forward. Bicep curl, and into that press. Reverse direction. Nice, nice, strong out here, deadlift. Row. Stand up nice and tall. Curl. To press, we've got one more rep in here. Come on. Deadlift. Row. Stand up nice and tall. We're going curl. Press. Reverse direction. And as soon as those dumbbells hit the ground, we're going in for those touchdown squat pops. Pushing it this round definitely to get that cardio rate up there. We only have 30 seconds to do it. Come on. Popping off those toes. Lots of energy. 10 seconds to go. And we're going right into that inchworm into push-ups. Four. Three. Two. And one. Top of the mat. Inchworm it out. And again, whatever you are most comfortable with, whether it's that is push-up from the toes or from the knees, all I ask for is great form, nice strong body lines. Yeah, come on. Under 10. Four. Three. Two. And one. Knees to the mat. Shake those arms out. Round three is done. Nice going here. All right. Definitely breathing a little bit harder here. Grab some water. We've got one or two rounds left, depending on timing and what we can fit in. For now, just taking those deep breaths of air. We do not need our dumbbells for this next round. I'm going to show you all three exercises before we get into it. So, first exercise, we're doing squat up downs to a pulse. So, you know this one. We're going down, down, up, up, and then pulse. One, two, three. Down, down, up, up, pulse. One, two, three. That's that first line interval. The shorter interval. We're going to do active plank. So, we're going to be straight on active planks here, which means all you're doing is starting a nice straight line, pull up through the belly button, round it up, and then straighten it out. Round it up, and straighten it out. From there, we're just going to go down, down to the forearms, pull that plank, and then push up into the dolphin, and right back down to the mat. Those are our three exercises. Let's finish up strong with those three and really just sort of try to get that burn on here, okay? So, dumbbells to the side. All you need is the mat. Potentially uh, double folded there for the knees. And we're going to start in a kneeling position, okay? The only thing I ask with these up downs is that you start the movement with a different leg each time. So if you start with the right leg the first time, start with the left on the next round through, okay? So, 10 seconds here. Nice straight back. When we get into that up position, the butt's still nice and low in a squat. Here we go. Let's start right leg. Up, up. And then we're going to pulse it out. One, two, and three. You got it. And then we go down and down. Left foot starts. Up, up. We pulse. One, two, three. Down, down. Yeah. Right leg. Up, up. Pulse it out. One, two, three. Down and down. Nice and gentle. In control. Up, up. Pulse for one, two, three and three, and right back down. Nice and strong here, starting to feel that burn. Up, up, and then we pulse. One, two, three, down, down, we got this. Come on, 15 seconds to go. Up, 
up. Three pulses. Three, two, one. Down, down. Last one here. Up, up. Pulse for three, two, one. Down, down. High plank with those active contractions. So, nice straight plank. All you're going to do is draw up through the spine and then straighten out. Draw up through the spine and then straighten it out. We have 10 seconds here. Now we're going into that forearm plank with the dolphin pose. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and down, down into the forearm pose. Find that nice straight plank. And then when you're ready, push the hips up and back. And then draw forward again, right back into that nice straight line. All the way up. Yeah. There's that stretch. Come on. Come on. Push those hips up. Bring it forward for a hold. Three, two, and one. Down to the mat. 15 second break here. One more round of each of those exercises, and then we will stretch it out. Five. Four, three, two, and one. We're up, up, into that hole. One, two, three, down, and down. Here we go. Up, and up, pulse. Three, two, one, down, and down. Other side. Up, up, three, two, one, down, and down. Other side, here we go. Up, up, three, two, one, down, and down. Let's do two more, then we pulse it out. Up and up, three, two, one, down, and down. Last one, we're gonna pulse it out to the end. Up and up, 15 second pulse out here. Take a deep breath. Draw all your thoughts right into the body, how strong you can be. Timer goes off. We're into active planks in four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. Shake it off. Nicely done. Nice hold. Into the active planks. And this is where we're going to finish up a full minute here. So once you find that straight arm plank, you draw the belly button up towards the ceiling and right back down. We're going to finish with this exercise because I know that it hits the core in all the right ways. You're still feeling the legs from those up-downs, which is perfectly okay. Hold strong. We're getting closer and closer to that finish line. So this is a really good exercise to practice that sort of movement, that contraction of the abs. So we're looking at crunches or lying leg raises, and I say, press your lower back into the mat. Same idea, except reverse direction. But that's the contraction you want. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down, sit all the way back in child's pose. We just rock through a quick cardio hit and core workout. You should be feeling every muscle in your body right now. Take a deep breath in, slowly exhale, exhale out tension. And appreciate your body and your muscles for everything that we just put it through. One more deep breath in and long, slow exhale, sinking into the child's pose. You're ready, draw your shoulders up over your hands. So you're on all fours here. We're just gonna move to the cat cow. So take a deep breath in and round the back of the ceiling, creating as much length as you can. Tuck the chin in. Exhale, push the hips towards the mat and lift the chest nice and tall. And just move between these two poses according to your own breathing rhythm. Which is nice and slow, so you have those long inhales and slow exhales. 
You should feel your heart rate coming down, your body temperature comes back to normal. Let's go one more time. And then go ahead and find that neutral position. Go ahead and step out into that high plank position. And just walk the hands gently towards the toes just enough so you can sink into a comfortable downward dog position here. If you feel like you're holding on to tension in your neck or your jaw, now's a good time to pay attention and sort of breathe out. That hold, let the weight of your head just sort of fall naturally. Relax the shoulders, walk the toes towards your hands. And let yourself sink into this folded in half position. Again, letting go of any tension in the shoulders, the neck, and the jaw. When you're ready, slowly roll your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Big shoulder roll. Everything up. And just a quick crisscross of those arms to get the blood flowing again. And boom! Friday morning. Okay, and cardio is done. Thank you.